Yes, you want to control your fractal with a DIY pedal board? Yes, you can. Uh, this one is working with a Tinsy 4.1 and it's working pretty good. So far, so far, so far, so good. Okay, uh, now it's started. Uh, this is the scene page. And well, um, there's one flaw. I'm still not finished uh, programming, but uh, in the bottom it should give the effect. Uh, on the first round it doesn't show the effects, but um, it's no biggie uh, when you hit a, a scene, it will show the effects. Uh, you see the red or green, red is bypass, green is active, of course, but um, you can also um, um, on the fly change the toggle type, so you can change them. While you hold the button, um, maybe 0 3 seconds, it will change the toggle type. Uh, and also it, it remembers uh, the settings when you started the scene. So this scene, uh, some are red, some are green, I don't know what one, but if I select the scene again, uh, it will change the settings back to how they were. So that's, uh, I find it convenient, maybe you don't, but uh, it's in there, it's, it's great. So yeah, um, in this scene page, yeah, you can see the names of your, of your scenes, of course, uh, but also uh, here you can go to preset 27 or 25, uh, and you see it loads very fast. It, it, it connects with the uh, fractal very fast, uh, very fast, uh, very fast, yeah. yeah. Did I say very fast? Yeah, it, I did. So, um, what can you do more? Uh, these buttons go uh, bank up, so uh, plus 10, and this is minus 10. That's nice. Uh, and this is just for the convenience when you're inside this uh, uh, page. From this page, you can also can go to the preset page. Um, here it says uh, preset 30 to 39, but also you can jump 10, minus 10, and also you can go, of course you can go down, and of course you can go up, it just cycles. And you can hold it, and then it will jump to wherever you want. Okay, uh, well, modern metal, okay, this is great. So now I'm in uh, 801, so it jumped pretty fast, but you can go faster. I can go uh, like preset two, and then I go to, go to two, and I want to go a thousand, and you go to thousand or 500. And it jumps to 500, okay. Um, when I hold this uh, function, I will go in the, um, yeah, I will call it the um, audition mode page. I don't know what else to call it, but in this page you can select uh, a preset, listen to the sound, um, but it will stay in this um, in this view. So you can select on, and also you can, can jump and select. You see, it's cool, but. Uh, also, you can go to, let's say, you're searching for a preset, but you know, don't know exactly what it is, so you go to 300, then it goes to the 300 uh, section, 300, 309, but it's still on preset 514. So, yeah, you can, oh, this was it, okay, uh, I like it, we select it. Um, that's what it does. Well, uh, also, there is a, an effect page, a sandbox page, and here you can... Uh, enable or this um, uh, able or bypass. I mean, uh, bypass uh, your effects. And here's the page and cap. Uh, this shows your amps and your caps. And you see, amp one is on um, channel A and cap one is on channel A. If I go uh, amp one to channel B, cap one will also go to channel B or C or D, whatever. Um, amp two. We're going to be, I have just one cap, so uh, cap 2 won't change, but if there is a cap 2, it will change 2. Uh, I can set it to C, uh, but when I select the cap, uh, it's independent, so I can set it to A, B, C, D, whatever you like, and the end will say in D. So yeah, I, I find that pretty uh, convenient. Um, what else is that show? Uh, we have a looper, okay, I will go to... A preset who has a looper, I think it's 27. Hey, 27, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, this one. Yeah, this one has a looper. So um, you can hold this button and go to the looper, 
record, play, stop playing, or reverse, or once, or whatever, uh, but these are the possibilities. Um, what else does that show? Um, we have a, a tuner. It's, it's working quite quite group, great. Um, you can change the tuner type. Um, now it was a pyramid. You can set it to a circle. And now it's a circle, whatever you like. It's, it's nice to see. Um, you see this flash. Uh, now it's four bullets, but you can change it just for, for one if you like that more. Or we'll change it back. Um, what else does that show? I don't know. Uh, tap tempo. So you can, ah, it's another flaw, you see. Um, I have to fix that, but uh, that will be okay. You can select the tempo, or fast, or you can select with the number, like 71, and select the tempo, and then you, you can manually select your tempo. So yeah, uh, if you want to change this one, uh, you go to the, Audition mode scene uh, page, and then you can select the different uh, flash type. And also, oh, okay, I think this is it. Um, I think it does a, a great job. Uh, I mean, the Teensy, it does a great job. It's fast, and um, yeah, well, I'm still developing, so maybe there's more. Yes, I can show you more, of course. Um, there are two expression pedals, and um, the value of the expression pedal is shown here. So if I wiggle it, then you'll see the value of it. You see, till 126, and this is expression pedal 2. And when I wiggle it, you will see the value of it. So yeah. Uh, okay, now I'm truly done. This was it. Um, it's, it's, um, it's great to see it working with the Teensy. Uh, what I said, I'm still developing and um, Maybe there will be more features, I don't know, but uh, I like it as it is, and it, it works great for me. Um, and the enclosure is uh, from Hammond, and it's stage ready, so um, yeah, maybe we'll see a stage one day. <laughs> I hope so. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.